Jacksonville County first responders have come together this week to train for emergencies. Of course, less than a week after many of those same first responders were called to a shooting at Tanglewood Middle School. 7 News reporter Chloe Salsameda shows us how they're now working together. During emergencies and times of crisis, every second counts. That's why first responders say training exercises like this are so important. From the ground and air, Greenville County first responders are preparing for emergencies. This training is absolutely critical to ensure that we know how to respond to incidents in the event they unfortunately do occur. Here, they're running through different scenarios to ensure they know how to respond to an incident involving weapons of mass destruction. Here, we're simulating an incident in a school, so the victims and the responders both need to be decontaminated um, to try to get whatever that, that chemical is off of them. Hazmat teams of firefighters are deciding how they'll enter the school, while the SWAT team keeps an eye on the threat and coordinates their plan of action. We're about two minutes from being done. What's key is how each agency communicates with each other. We want that unified approach. We want the uh, law enforcement folks, fire department, EMS, even our partners from um, volunteer organizations like the Red Cross. We want everybody working together as quickly and efficiently as possible. These first responders tell me they're not strangers to one another. They worked together last week when they were called to Tanglewood Middle School. And I think that you see the importance of training as it played into to Tanglewood last week and that we are responding appropriately, that we are making sure that, that everybody is safe from an incident that could be catastrophic. These first responders understand the skills they learn here will be crucial in helping them save lives. As a big team and you, you kind of you get rid of the logo, you get rid of the title, and everybody just, just works together the best as possible during events like this. Exercises will continue here on Thursday. In Greenville County, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News. Those training exercises are being held at the old Waddell Bus Center near Wade Hampton High School. You can expect to see a whole lot of law enforcement and equipment in that area.